Hey guys, Majeffries here, and welcome back to Cities in Motion 2. Uh, and you've noticed already, I'm sure, we are boarding... We are on board. I really need to sort my words out sometimes. We are on board a Shamrock Line train. And again, you may notice that the Shamrock Line trains look a little bit different to what they did before, and that is because I decided that the custom trains they just weren't good enough for what I wanted to do. They're way too long for a start and their capacity is nowhere near as good. So even though they probably, these ones we've got now, uh, the Sternberger Antelope, I think that says, even though these probably cost more to run in terms of capacity and general length, um, they're better. So we've got these now instead. I have boo-booed a little bit uh, in the these trains are still just a little bit too long for the express line platforms so whilst there's a train in those platforms um, basically that the, no other train can get past the solution to that is buy some shorter trains and you know I'm, one day I might get around to doing that but for now I'm just gonna leave it as it is you can actually see these trains can carry up to 240 passengers which you know, I think in the last episode I was getting excited because we had a train that can carry 180 something. Imagine 60 more than that. This train's got 119 on board right now and it's not even at its normal capacity. So passengers are perfectly happy, no one's crowded or, or you know, crammed in. Everything's fantastic. Uh, I'm going to speed up time a little bit. Get this train back to the hub. Because not necessarily made some changes there um, well have I made changes there I can't remember what I said I was going to do now in the last episode um, we have however got a properly working system again it, we had to make the changes obviously because uh, it was getting ridiculous the number of trains that were being held up and we had a problem with our tram system as well which I never quite got to the bottom of I just reset the trams you know shut the line and started it again we had this massive long queue of trams for just no reason at all coming out of the hub. It was really confusing. Uh, and all our monorail trains kept breaking down. So, you know, if you leave this game running for a, a certain length of time, things do start to go wrong. But whilst I'm recording like this, for example, I'm always keeping an eye on things, monitoring them, making sure everything's running smoothly. So nothing ever really gets beyond breaking point. I am liking... This this is the first loop this train's done. It's the first loop that any of these trains have done, the new type. And it's carried over a thousand passengers already. That is an a staggering amount of passengers. And you can see as it approaches the hub. Um we've actually got a decent number on board still. We're carrying sixty seven passengers into the hub. And here's a perfect chance to show just how long these trains actually are. So we'll come to this last stop here. We'll pick up all the passengers that are waiting. We're down to 37 on board, which isn't brilliant, but there you go. And the train's going to poodle into its platform. There you go, there's an example. It couldn't get through. It had to sit and wait. They fit in these ones okay, though. Although well, they should do. Why is that one... Oh, is that a uh, Emerald slash Jade Line train? Probably is. But yeah, that's that's how that system works now. You can see Metro Depot 1 has run out of vehicles. Um, solution to that, I suppose, is to buy some more. The best way to do that, I guess, would be to buy just some control cars. So it's an EcoBoost 10. Should be enough. Uh, and eventually all of these ones will be replaced as well. The ones I'm hankering for for these are probably the Musketeer or the Musketeer 01 because they cost nearly half the amount of these ones the capacity is only 30 less and the capacity on this line in general isn't as high anyway and although it costs more to run and requires more maintenance they should hopefully be sitting in the depot for a lot of time not really going anywhere so that's where that will be paid off you can see the metro itself it needs to start earning money again quickly in order to pay off the 71 or £70,000 that we're in debt by. That 
has all come about primarily because of buying these trains and you can see just how long these trains are they do not fit in the express platforms so what I might actually do is go back to here go into this sell ten of those I think that should be a good number and then buy some let's go for these ones because I don't think I've seen these ones in operation yet they got twenty more seats than the uh, the capital can I afford ten? I can there we go. And then we have to go back into the timetables. Um, Shamrock and South. We have to make sure that the Shamrock has large vehicles running on it. Like so. And then the South Loop has... I'm guessing they're small. like that. If we OK that, we should have an Ickle Wickle train coming out of the depot. And then at least uh, Shamrock Line trains can fit in these platforms, so that's absolutely fine. And then we should have some trains that are small enough to fit in here. You see this North Loop train, there's a, car, a whole car's worth sticking out. And that's stopping the Shamrock Line train from actually getting to where it needs to be. Although that's a South Loop train. But again, you know, South Loop has a lot of people waiting. The new trains can carry 160 people. So it'll be interesting to see how they cope. In fact, there, there is one right there. I like the look of them, though. They've got a real nice European style to them, which I suppose is the idea if you buy a, a European vehicle pack. But there you go. There's me just stating the obvious. Right, so the new train should arrive, and with any luck, it fits. Where's that waiting to go? That's an Emerald Line train, and the Emerald Line stops there. That's what I was doing. I was rejigging platforms, wasn't I? So yeah, most of these platforms now have two lines stopping inside them, and that seems to be the case. Where is that train? Oh, it's there. Oh, it doesn't look much shorter it doesn't actually look much shorter at least with these now trains are just picking up passengers and then moving on although where's this one going is that a loop yes yeah, jade line so I'll be going on the loop this is the new train here arriving is it gonna be too long yes it is okay slight problem there then not really sure how to get around that without deleting the hub and starting again and I really don't want to do that but then look at this there's queues now for all of these and this is what ends up happening none of these trains can now move so we end up with what is essentially gridlock have I really got to rebuild all of this again have I seriously got to do that right looks like a yes to that one how much money have I got to spend on this not a great deal not a great deal at all and unlike what I did with the trams I do want this system to stay as it is because these metro trains move so quickly they get from one end of the city to the other in no time at all so there's no reason to uh, to have to extend no, wait, there's no reason to move the depots, is what I meant to say. Right, where am I going to start? This end, I suppose. Probably should have saved this before I started, because we're going to have bugs all over the place again. Which we've already got. If this starts to get really, really annoying, I'm going to end this episode early and, and uh, come back to it, I think, once I've finished because otherwise I'm going to be having stress attacks and all kinds of things going on. Right. Finish loading now. Load. 
load you piece of thing. Come on. Got a really, really powerful computer here and it doesn't seem to be able to handle just this. Okay. Why is it not letting me delete that bit? Actually, I can use that as a guide. Uh, oh, I think there's good. Right, we want this to be quite literally the shortest two-track section. It's like that. Seems to work fine those stations and waypoints which for some reason still exist so how long is that one it's like three squares long so about there And then these are four track to. I'm going to do it to there. It really won't let me delete this, will it? Oh, wait. Oh, I have to save and load again. This is so crap. It's better be worth it. If the trains still don't fit in, I think I'm actually going to throw a brick through a window somewhere. It's incredibly frustrating. Incredibly frustrating. All this work, just so that the trains fit. I sh really, really, really should have checked this out beforehand. Okay. Work. Be gone. Yeah, looks like it actually has. Well, they've still got this shelter up here. Right, that track's now gone. One, two, three. Now this one comes to... here? Or should I do it to there? probably do it to there but I'm going to do it to there just so I don't jinx all my good work and then that literally goes like that and then from here we go one two three then that swoops around like that and then on this side really? Wow, okay. I don't mind these ones being shallow because it avoids conflicting with the tram, but these ones? I suppose they look better like that. Can't really complain. And then we have. Okay, I'm out of money. Okay, we are in debt. Okay. Go for that. It let me take out another loan. So we're still heavily in debt, but that should get paid off once this is actually up and running again, which I will cry if that's not soon. Tears will literally stream down my face. And not in a nice cold play way either. We need that one there and that one there. They really better fit in here now. They really better fit. I don't even know if this looks longer. Like, does that section there look longer than it used to be? That section is definitely shorter. I just, I don't know. These ones fit in perfectly. It's just these tiny ones here. That has to fit. Surely that has to fit. 
100% surely. Right, got five minutes left of this episode, so let's uh, let's make it worthwhile and uh, rebuild. Sorry, rename all of these again. There's people out there now, smiling to themselves as they put the noose around their neck and stand on the stool. I'm so sorry, guys, that I'm doing this to you. How many times am I going to have to rebuild this station before I get it right? I didn't have to rebuild the monorail. I didn't have to rebuild the monorail at all. All I did was add to it, and it's worked perfectly. Although now we are having queues of trains, so maybe that's a small issue. Even the tram, now I've rebuilt it, I might have to reset it every now and then, but apart from that, it works perfectly. You know, trains arrive, trains leave. We've got a few problems with junctions, but I'm sort of coming up with solutions to that in my head at the moment. So uh, in the next couple of episodes, we'll probably be fixing that problem as well. All right, one more. There we go. And now we got to rename these ones. So this is MCH through uh, North 2. MCH through North 1. Maybe one day we'll have a brand new depot like City South and have through trains come straight through here. That's south 2. And then these ones will definitely need to be used. For now they are just diversionary. South 1. Okay. Now we have to redo the lines again. Fantastic. Let's start with Emerald Line, shall we? which, let's say for the sake of argument, comes this way. Where these lines are going to terminate, I guess they'll be in the previous bay, like I had it before. Although that was a temporary fix. I was thinking of maybe... Although I don't know now, actually, now I've said that. I guess the temporary fix could be a permanent solution. Um, so it rumbles back in to this one and then hits that target there and comes out there. So we'll reopen that one. Do the jade line next. But I suppose the logical thing to do would be to check that it fits, although that's a ridiculous idea because we're not actually going to see the trains run stopping these gaps. It seems to fit there. So that's a positive sign, at least. Let's just get this train running again. So we'll do the uh, the all stoppers first and then we'll do the expresses. What we really need is just to get these trains running again properly to pay off our debt because we are slipping further and further into depression right now and it's not looking good. Right, so that one ends there and then it goes through that target and back into the depot. Open, get rid of that. 
Right, and the third one to do is the Shamrock line. Get rid of all of these stops. And it'll be the last thing I do in this episode. I'll do the express ones off camera again. Right, so that goes Depot 2. See, in theory, I could have it start and end at this station here. It's so tempting to do that, you know. It is so tempting to do that. Hmm. Let me think about that. Because, I mean, that is a good idea. It's a very good idea. We'll, we'll consider that another time I think we're gonna for now we're gonna do it the same as the emerald line so it's gonna come out of there this game's getting really laggy now as well really laggy I'm wondering as well if the, all these cars that are suddenly out on the road as well, if that is a direct result of these metro lines being closed down. It'd be pretty cool if it was. I doubt it though. You never know. Right. Interchange there. Uh... Now, where do we go here? Shall I stop in the hub again? I could. Or I could go straight. I'll go straight through. We'll come to our new station down here. Stop. And then we'll come back to this one. We'll go through there. And then back to the depot. Like so. Okay, guys. So that is a the wrong train. That is definitely the wrong train. Why is that train going and not the large one? What time of day are we? We're at night, aren't we? These should all be large trains. For some reason, they're not. And that's, there you go, there's a Shamrock train and it's a large one. So that seems to have fixed itself. Okay, let's do one express train and see if it fits. So let's do this one. This is the clockwise route. So it will come out here. It will go through there and stop here. It will then go the first interchange which I believe is here it will then go to the second interchange which is down here third interchange which is all the way over here and then back to base here and then it goes via whoops, that line and then to the depot Right, let's wait for one of those to run round, shall we? Speed up time a little bit, try and get it to the hour. Come on. Isn't it funny now? All the times we had trains timetabled and they all came out of the depot literally as we pressed go. And now we're sta sat here waiting. That is so funny. Where the hell are the trains? Just gonna sit here and wait, are we? Fan bloody tastic. Speeding up time, no train leaving yet. Oh here we go. Is this could this be it? 
that's a an emerald line train that is a jade line train that's emerald is that that's emerald that's shamrock where the hell is the uh, the north loop train I got the timetable mixed up again. No, me, I probably have. Although I, I didn't open it by the looks of it. That could be a, a, a main reason as to why. There we go. It says we've got one out now. There it is. Okay, that one should fit in, no problems. Where's that come from? That's a jade line. See, that's running pretty full. That's going to run through there. Loads of them either side. It's then going to run into this station. And... Again. There we go. Train can pass. Fantastic. It looks like we fixed it. Okay guys, I'm going to timetable the other two lines off camera. So thank you very much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, be sure to click the subscribe button. If you have already subscribed to my channel, thank you guys for your continued support. And until next time, I will see you soon.